Hi everyone, I'm Ashley Turner, yoga instructor and mind-body psychotherapist, and today we're talking about the chakras, particularly the second chakra or the sacral chakra. So the second chakra is called Svadhisthana, and it literally translates to mean sweetness. Second chakra is our hips, our pelvis, our lower back. It governs our sexual organs, and it's developed from 6 to 24 months. So this is the phase when a baby just starts to move around. They're moving out of the first chakra, out of just survival and gaining their strength and maintaining life, and they're moving into a more sensual experience of life where what Freud calls the oral phase. Everything starts to go in their mouth, they're moving around, they're crawling, there's a fluidity and a locomotion. It's also where that child starts to experience their emotional life. So Svadhisthana governs our emotional identity and the element associated with it is water. So think of fluidity, the waters of the womb, um, going with the flow of life and being able to process our emotions thoroughly and efficiently. Svadhisthana, if there's any um, imbalance or trauma uh, to a person's life in that stage of 6 to 24 months, it could affect Svadhisthana. And likewise, at any point in our life, if we have a deep emotional wound or um, a very intense emotional experience, that can bring an imbalance to Svadhisthana. So having a healthy, balanced state in the second chakra looks like um, being flexible, being flexible in our body, being flexible in our emotions. It looks like having healthy emotional boundaries. This also governs our sexuality and our relationship to other people, um, our relationship to sensuality, desire, pleasure. Do we allow ourselves simple pleasures in life? Do we allow ourselves to pursue our greatest desires? Um, do we have healthy boundaries in our sexual life? Sexual manipulation or control that is an excess in Svadhisthana or a sexual addiction. The particular addictions associated with Svadhisthana are alcohol, heroin, and sex addiction. So very specific lifestyle tools to help you rebalance Svadhisthana. Anything that has to do with fluid movement. So hip openers, fluid movement, vinyasa yoga, um, swimming, dancing, Hula hooping is great. Anything to get your body moving in this liquid way. Um, other things to consider are cycling, um, walking in nature. Again, getting that locomotion and movement. And then as well, developing and maintaining healthy boundaries in your sexual life and with desire. Um, lastly, the mantra associated with Svadhisthana is VAM, V-A-M. So you can chant this bija mantra, this seed sound. Imagine it placed right in the center of the womb center, in the center of your pelvic floor, or right in the center of the base of the pelvis and the hips. And you just chant vam. Vam, 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 vam. Vam, 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 vam. And you can do this 108 times. And the yoga associated with Svadhisthana is Tantra Yoga. So again, not just sexual tantric practices, but working with sensuality to awaken and heighten your own experience of joy, of pleasure, and sensuality in your life. Thank you so much for watching, and I look forward to sharing more of the chakras in other videos. Have a great day. Namaste.